Unraveling the Mystery of Read Table. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English phrases and idioms. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, Read Table. At first glance, it may seem like a simple combination of two common English words, but as we'll discover, context is everything. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery together. Before we delve into the phrase itself, let's break it down. A reed is a type of tall, slender grass that usually grows in wet areas, like the banks of rivers or lakes. On the other hand, a table is a piece of furniture with a flat top and legs, used for a variety of activities such as eating, writing, or working. When we combine these words, the direct meaning seems to be a table made of reeds. However, is there more to this phrase? Let's find out. In a literal sense, a reed table could refer to a table crafted from reeds, possibly a traditional or artisanal piece of furniture. It could evoke images of rustic, naturalistic decor or designs. But what about figurative uses? In English, combining words can often lead to new, idiomatic meanings. A reed table could potentially be a metaphorical expression. However, as of our latest knowledge, it is not recognized as an established idiom or metaphor in English. So, if you come across this phrase, it's likely being used in a creative or descriptive way, specific to the context it's found in. To fully understand read table, we need to consider context. For example, in literature, a character might refer to a read table in a poem to symbolize simplicity and connection to nature. In a furniture catalog, it could describe a table's material and style. Without context, the meaning of read table remains ambiguous. So, always look at the surrounding text or conversation to uncover the intended message. And there we have it, a closer look at the phrase, read table. While it's not a common idiom, it serves as a great example of how English can be descriptive and imaginative. I hope this video has shed some light on how words can be more than the sum of their parts. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you again soon for another linguistic adventure. Keep exploring the beauty of English with us, and remember, context will often guide you to understanding. Happy learning!